What's up, Metrolina, and welcome back to your seventh episode of the WMCA News. We have a variety of announcements for this month of April, so listen up. We have a great lineup of chapel speakers this month. On April 10th, we have Stephen Furtick, the pastor at Elevation Church. On April 17th, we welcome back our good friend, Brian Burgess. And on April 24th, we have Cameron McCartney coming to speak to us, and make sure you listen up and take notes. Our spring sports season is halfway through, and if you haven't had a chance to go to a game, it's not too late. Go to our website at metrolinachristian.org and check the times for the games. On April 29th, our baseball and soccer team will be starting their MAC tournament. And on April 30th, softball will be starting their MAC tournament. Make sure you come and support your Warriors. On April 11th, the 10th grade A group will be doing their service project. On April 23rd through 24th, our sophomores will be taking their class trip to Atlanta. There they will go to their Georgia Aquarium and a Braves game. Have fun! On April 24th, we have progress reports, so make sure to get your teacher to fix your missings. On April 23rd, our juniors have early release due to the ASVAB testing. Make sure you bring your best guessing game. This month, we are having the Warrior Clay Classic. If you want any information, go to Rebecca Presley. On April 9th, seniors will be taking a trip down memory lane with their senior cap and gown pictures. Tickets are available for the spring production of Pride and Prejudice, a story of Miss Bennett on a quest for her five daughters to find love. This is a three-night event. Make sure to get your tickets for April 18th, 19th, and 20th through our school website. What a lovely day it is, dear. Oh yes, indeed it is, darling. Have you ever pondered the idea of new gadgets? Whatever do you mean? I'm not sure. I just have the strangest feeling of change in the air. I see. <laughs> Wait, what on earth is going on? Oh my! What on earth? What on earth are those gadgets? Where are we? Uh, hello? Who, uh, uh, who are you can, guys? Can we help you? Good afternoon. I am Fitzwilliam Darcy and this is my wife, Elizabeth. But whatever are you doing with those gadgets? Gadgets? Uh, gadgets? No, this is our technology. Some of which include uh, Apple phone, AirPods, iPad, laptop, a computer, headphones, uh, and TV. These gadgets, sorry, I mean technologies are fascinating. Would you like to see? It's just like a typewriter. What is this Pride and Prejudice? Oh, it's, it's a play. You know, you'd actually fit the playbill quite nicely. Let's just catch it on our way home. A Night in Paris will be held Friday, April 26th from 7.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Alexander Homestead. There will be refreshments, music, dancing, and crowning of prom at King and Queen, and memories will be made. It is always a terrific evening. April 26 is a normal school day for MCA. However, juniors and seniors will be given excused absences. MCA sophomores must attend until 12 p.m. in order to attend prom that day. April 11th and April 18th are the last days to get your attire approved. Have a great one, guys. Thank you to everyone who showed up and participated in the March 14th blood drive. It was a great success and we had about 54 people show up to donate. Thank you to everyone who made the event happen and please make sure to mark your calendars for next year for March 14th, 2025 for our next blood drive. Are you interested in joining your high school student government? 
Student government helps plan various events and builds great leadership skills. Applications are now available under Campus Life under the Metroina website, or you can check your email from Ms. Ferguson for a link to the application. Are you ready for the barbecue that dads are cooking up? Oh, no, we're gonna food poison us. Oh, get out there! Same He's doing so good. I think you're being a little too hard on him. You're being a little fucking too hard on him! You get out there! I'll tell, I'll tell you what, boy. I want to see Bam back in the national championship really? this year. Land him out the tiger now. Let's land him out the tiger. That's my boy out there. That's a prodigy in the making. You don't want each other? Yeah! <laughs> Okay, how do you think I did? You did great, my boy. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you know, Messi, yeah, you do that. Great game, everybody. Great game. Great game. Great game. Okay. We lost really bad. Yeah, we kind of sucked. But that's okay. It's fine. Next season, ladies. I mean, guys. guys. I mean, guys. Males. Guys, great seeing you. Next season. Great seeing you guys. Woo! Starbucks. Yeah. Party out. to another year of March Madness. This year, our WNCA news team will be creating a March Madness bracket. The winner will be taking the loser to Goodwill. And that loser has to wear that outfit for the entire school day. Let's see who everyone has winning on their brackets. I have Houston and UNC in the national championship, and I have Houston winning 78 to 72. I have UConn and Houston with a score of 77 to 68. I have UConn and Tennessee in the final game with a score of 70 to 69. I have UConn going against Houston and I have UConn winning 55 to 45. I have UConn playing Kansas and I have them winning 89 to 83. I have Purdue against Baylor and I have Purdue winning 68 to 55. I have Wagner versus Grambling and I have 56 to 73. I have UConn winning against, uh, against Houston. My score 30, 80. 85 to 55. In the championship, I have UNC beating Marquette, and my glorious king, RJ Davis, gonna get the win, 68 to 62. I have Kentucky and Iowa um, playing. I have Kentucky winning, and the score would be uh, 72 to 76. I got Houston and Auburn in the finals, with Houston winning, 76 to 73. I've got South Carolina beating North Carolina, 81 to 78. My final picks are Auburn and Houston, with Auburn taking the victory, 40 to 60.